Godparents for Tanzania is an opportunity to lift people out of poverty through education. What we're trying to do is to encourage sponsors in the U.S. to not just give money and not just pay for the education of a student in Tanzania, but to take a genuine interest in the way that a godparent would take interest in a child that's being baptized. Here is a helping hand which supports the life of the poor families in Tanzania. I see the fruits. It's there. Kids are helped, they are healthy, they get the education, and they help themselves, they help their families, they help the community. Ezekiel Karani George Kingi is now working with the Gibbs Farm Hotel. The father died. His mother had a cancer. And uh, she quietly, one day, she walked 30 kilometers. I heard a knock on my door. I asked, why are you here this morning? She said, look at my eyes. I'm crying. Why? I have three kids. You are a pastor, please help me with these kids to get education because I am soon going to die, I know. I share the information of this lady with my Ndugu in the US, Pastor Dwayne Westerman, and he, his heart was also touched. So the organization, with the help of my brother, decided to help the kids. And one is Ezekiel. We took him to a hotel management training school and he is finished and now he is having a job. He is, I'm glad when I come to Gibbs Hotel to be served by him. And I look at his face, I see a smile. Smile that tells I have overcome the fear of life. Now God has helped me through. <laughs> kwa kuwasaidia napenda kuwa kiongozi mzuri kwa kuwasaidia jamii I say thank you for supporting my life my staff up to now My name is Kristen Westerman and I am the administrator with Godparents for Tanzania We're here at Bashai Primary School Today we we arrived in our car and we were met with a group of about a hundred students and they were carrying leaves and singing and throwing rose petals on us and just treated us like we were royalty. They are preparing for the Standard 7 National Exam which will be in August. Most of these children don't have electricity at home. At worst they're living in a mud house with a thatch roof or at best they're living in a brick house with an iron roof but none of them have electricity at home. So if these children have their own light that they can focus on their studies literally focus them on their books. They can study later in the evening because if they don't pass this exam, their education ends with seventh grade. So it's a really critical examination and any extra study time they can have is a bonus. We started off last year buying some of these lights because we thought they were really cool. And then some folks at St. Stephen Lutheran Church in Williamsburg really got enthused and donated about 200 lights for us. My name is Justin Basso. I'm a head teacher of Bashai Primary School. Without education, no life. Education is key of everything. I am very happy about the gift of light we get from St. Stephen Lutheran Church because our area, we have no electricity. To St. Stephen Lutheran Church in Williamsburg, Virginia, we just say thanks so much. This effort that you made last year at VBS is going to pay off for about 200 people here in Karatu and they really appreciate it. I thank you so much, St. Stephen Lutheran Church, for the big donation of light. God bless them. My name is John Kule Slegrai. Our hospital name is Karatu Lutheran Hospital, belong to ELCT Northern Diocese. Uh, we serve the community of this entire district of Karatu. The population of Karatu district is 270,000 people. The clinical officer is the, the position of the assistant physician. We have very few doctors in our country. We need to have the assistants, those who are working on behalf of the doctors they call clinicians. Joseph Kamara is one of our clinical officers. He is doing a wonderful job here. Since he joined us, he, he was doing a lot and we 
expecting a lot from him. He said, man, a patient here, and he's so busy guy. Joseph was getting um, a support from, from God's parents for Tanzania for his studies to be a clinical officer. Three years training is, uh, is, is very expensive to us because we are serving the poor people. We are not able to train our, our staff to be um, a doctor or a professional. I want to help the people who don't get this education. Good parent did many things for Tanzanian students. They help them. Most of them now they're employed like me. Really, we appreciate for what God Parent for Tanzania was done for on behalf of us. My name is Simon Gerard Manyara. I currently am a student and I'm doing masters in resource geology. We look at uh, resources that are being found in rocks. We, this could be groundwater, mineral resources, or petroleum and natural gas. This is a part of the Great African Rift System that goes from north of Africa to Mozambique. This is important because it's an evidence of active tectonic movements that are taking place. Tanzania has geology resources, groundwater. Tanzania is the third country producing gold in Africa. Tanzania is a unique locality for Tanzania. And now Tanzania has got natural gas, which has just been discovered. I went to the government schools, but after that, I was not able to attend the university. Then I met an good parents for Tanzania, and they assisted me for my bachelor's degree in the University of Dar es Salaam. So my interest is to help find water, and people use it, and also to yeah, give a consultation on uh, building material, the best building material that we can get from the rocks we have. Thanks to them, because they are doing a really nice thing here, we still have a lot of students who don't have chances, and uh, I think they are they're, they're best students who need to get education, and if they get that, uh, that chance, it will be real helpful, because uh, if we have more educated uh, young men, then it's more uh, easily to develop Tanzania. Thanks so much. My name is Pidge Morgan and I am the photographer for Godparents for Tanzania. Studio BB, and BB means grandma. It's a portable studio that my friends in uh, Manita, Virginia made. Gordon Benson, who is a handyman who can do just about anything, took my request for having something that I could bring here, so he got PVC pipe, which was donated by Caps Building Supply, and then he took the PVC pipe and he made a frame that totally comes apart. Then uh, a neighbor who owns a quilt shop, um, Marnie Brush, donated fabric and made this, it's just a great huge pillowcase that fits over the top of the frame. So then I have the students stand in front of that so we have a consistent background for their file photos. It's important to take pictures of the students every year so that we can uh, map their growth and how they change from year to year, uh, if they have any health issues that can be picked up in the pictures that I take so we have a record of them and who they are. Without an education, the country is not going anywhere and they have a chance with education to bring themselves and their families out of the downward spiral of poverty. My name is Jonah Pasco Gadie. I'm studying at Sokoine University of Agriculture, taking wildlife management. I would like to thank American Godparents for their assistance. Thank you very much and God bless them. We are our brother's keeper and we are required not only spiritually and financially to support each other, but to be there for each other. Godparents for Tanzania does that and we have dedicated people and we need more sponsors and people who are willing to give of themselves to these children. Coming to Tanzania is coming home to me. I've been doing this now for, for 10 years and uh, it, it makes my heart happy to see the children grow and change and to see the confidence and to see the smiles on their faces and to know that they're healthy and they're getting a good education so that they can, they can help this country. My name is Vicente Dawit Hando. I am a student who completed uh, agriculture and livestock production at Msinga Folk Development College. Vicent Dawite has been a student of ours for four years. We helped him complete Form 3 and Form 4, so his secondary education, 
and he has now completed a two-year certificate in agriculture and livestock management, and he is planning to go for a diploma in livestock management, which will be another two-year program. People make their living by livestock. You could say they live and die by their livestock. He has already been able to improve the health of the animals that his family has. The neighbors are coming and asking for his advice as well. It's really pertinent to his lifestyle. Vicent had completed the second year of secondary school when we met him. Godparents for Tanzania found a sponsor in the U.S. to help him complete the last two years of secondary school. <laughs> This family doesn't have much in the way of cash, which is what is needed for school fees. If he was going to finish secondary school and a certificate, he was going to need to find funds elsewhere. Vicent has made a lot of progress personally. When we met him, he was a bit shy. He wasn't very confident. And now his English has improved quite a lot. You've seen him conversing with us. He's very comfortable. He's confident. He feels good about what he's achieved in school. His family is proud of him. He's the first in his family to complete secondary school, to go to college. And his knowledge is a real benefit to the family, and it's going to be a benefit to the community. His reach, we really don't even know yet, but it's going to be many thousands of people that he helps in his career. Without you, I'll never, I'll not able to attend school at all. Yeah. So I'm saying thank you very much for your support. You should support Godparents for Tanzania because there are many more students who could use some bright students who really would benefit from going to school and would give back to their country. They wouldn't take that and not use it. They would, they would give back to their country. A congregation, for example, can commit to uh, sending a clinical officer to school for $3,500 a year for three years or um, a group of friends can say as their Christmas present to each other, let's each put in $125 and send a kid to secondary school. So there are lots of ways that people of all different kinds of means can help. Thank you for anybody who in any small way would participate in our program, whether it's financially or with their prayers or just learning more about the fantastic people in Tanzania. It's all about God. I think the fact of the matter is that sponsors recognize the value of what they're doing, the value this has for the child, for the young student, and they say, of course, I'm going to help. I just wish more people knew the story. That's it. I, you tell the story and people say, yeah, I can do that. I would encourage the people of the United States to, to come and contribute towards this G40Z fund so that the kids who have lost hope can get hope and also save the community uh, in their surrounding and also that nation of Tanzania, which is very poor at, a, at large. Morning, everybody. I want to introduce to you this uh, morning the person who is sitting by my side. His name is Gilba Heidi. He is the father of Joshua, who is already a graduate in teacher's training college at uh, Wama and he's soon going to go for work. And I will ask Mr. Heidi or Gilbert to bring greetings to the people in the U.S. because he has, his heart is full of joy because his son now has graduated as a teacher. Please, Karibu. Say masalam kwa watu wali. Mbatu kwa wani kuba kwa kuja banga makesho. Thank you for coming this morning up to this place called Magesho. Na na mbatu safari njema kwa kuni papole upaka kumweni fikia. I want to say pole sana for the trip and the, the, the trouble you have uh, taken to come to this place. I want to thank you very much for the help you have given me and also our family as a whole.
sina mengi sana ila na hapa pole kubwa sana i have nothing much to say except to re to repeat and say thank you very much for helping joshua to have education and training as a teacher uh, thank you very much